taxpayer. Joe Biden is compromised. He's dragging us into a global conflict on behalf of the very same country, Ukraine, that apparently paid his family all of these millions of dollars. In light of this information, the U.S. Congress should refuse to authorize a single additional payment of our depleted stockpiles. Did you see last week? Last week, he said, we have no ammunition. The United States, you know, I rebuilt the military. We had so much ammunition. We had to buy storage, massive storage bins for it. It's almost gone. First of all, that shouldn't have happened. But who would release that? Who would say that? That was classified information, wasn't it, huh? But the weapons stockpiles to Ukraine until the FBI, DOJ, and IRS hand over every scrap of evidence they have on the Biden crime family's corrupt business dealings. We have to know, and the public deserves to know. In addition, Congress should immediately vote to block Joe Biden's recent call-up of reserve forces. We're sending now troops over to Europe to fight. We're sending troops to fuel this escalating conflict. Not a single American life should be put at risk because crooked Joe Biden has been illegally paid off. He's been paid off. He's a corrupt president. And you know what? I would have never said that. I have too much respect for the office of the presidency, and I never said that. I can't say great things about him because he's been a horrible president, but I would never say. But you know what? Now we have to take the gloves off because they took the gloves off, so we take the gloves off.